Welcome back, Rare Talks. You already know what it is. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't, make sure you go over to the Spotify and check out the exclusive episodes on the Spotify. And today, we're back with another Rare Reactions. And today's a little special. It's about an incident that happened over a year ago at the Oscars. I don't think everyone remembers, but I definitely remember. It's the moment that Will Smith slapped the heat out of Chris Rock's mouth. And you know what, yeah? When I first saw the video, because I woke up in the morning and I saw it, yeah? I thought it was fake. I thought it was staged. I thought it was just like staged and all that. And then, you know, coming to realise as time went on that it was actually real. He slapped him on stage on the Oscars in front of everybody making a joke about his wife. And a man came up and said, keep my wife's name out your mouth. The most ironic moment in history after knowing everything that his wife done to him. So it was the, one of the most iconic um, points in history. Well, um, Chris Rock has clapped back in his new uh, Netflix. Uh, <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> I let, let me prepare myself one sec. So Chris Rock has, oh my God. He's got a Netflix special called Selective Outrage, which this sounds like it's all for Will Smith. Now, Will Smith is living in Chris Rock's head rent-free. And the reason being is because, you see, everyone can get slapped. Anyone can get punched. Anyone can get beaten up. Look, it's life. You could get it anytime you like. That's not what hurt Chris Rock. What really hurt Chris Rock is that he got slapped and there was nothing that he could do about it. As a man, it would crumble your, your confidence, your soul. You, you as a man, knowing that another man slapped me and I never done anything, that's wild. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, let's just watch this reaction and see what Chris Rock is actually saying. Everybody knows. Everybody fucking knows. Yes, it happened. I got smacked like a year ago. Fucking last week, I got smacked in the fucking Oscars by this motherfucker. And people like, did it hurt? It still hurts. <laughs> I got summertime ringing in my ear. <laughs> fucking drums, please. But I'm not a victim, baby. You will never see me on Oprah or Gail crying. Let me stop him there. He is a victim. He is actually a victim. And the reason why I say he's a victim is because he never done anything back. That's victim. It's like an innocent bystander saying something wrong to me and I slap him. He's a victim of a crime. I can be against him. But slapping him like a child, like an idiot. Man just got box in the face. It's mad, isn't it? Let's keep watching. <laughs> never gonna happen. I couldn't believe it, and I love men in black. No. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. No. Fuck that shit. I took that hit like Pacquiao, motherfucker. <laughs> I took it like motherfucking Pacquiao, okay? Shit, man. Did it hurt? Yeah, motherfucking hurt. And people are like, well, you guys are fighting all the time. We're not fighting. First of all, I know you can't tell on camera, Will Smith is significantly bigger than me. <laughs> we are not the same size. That is the most weirdest excuse I've ever heard of a man getting tumped up saying someone's size is bigger than me. Brother, listen, your size can be bigger than me, but my automatic reflex if you hit me is to hit back. Whether I get smoked, whether I get beaten up, whether I end up in hospital and I don't know what happened, Brother, I went out like a fighting G. I went out on my shield. And let me tell you something. Going out on your shield as a man is, is like a respectful thing. I'll die on my shield. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to die when a man slapping me and boxing me in my face and I'm just standing there like, yo, you're bigger than me. You're six foot three. Bro, size means nothing when it comes to fighting. It's ability and technique. Trust me on that. There's some small guys that can take out some big guys, bro. You ain't seen UFC. Okay? We are not. It's got this guy, Will Smith does movies with his shirt off. You've never seen me do a movie with my shirt off. If I'm in a movie getting open heart surgery, I got on a sweater. Will Smith play 
Muhammad Ali in a movie. You think I auditioned for that part? He played Muhammad Ali. I played Pookie in New Jack City. That's a fact. And Pookie was a nigga. Pookie, motherfucker. I played a piece of corn in Pootie Tang. Shit, even in animation, this motherfucker's bigger. I'm a zebra, he's a shark. What the fuck, man? But, but, Will Smith practices selective outrage. Practices selective outrage. Because everybody knows what the fuck happened. Everybody that really knows, knows I had nothing to do with that shit. I didn't have any entanglements. did not have any entanglement. And, and for people that don't know what everybody knows, Will Smith... It's mad because um, he's hitting below the belt, but I understand why he's doing it because he's still hurt about what happened to him. So I would hit below the belt if that was me. I'd still be mad over a year if that was me. And um, I would capitalise off of it, obviously, and turn it into comedy because obviously... He can make money off it. It's better to monetize off pain than just to live in pain. You know what I'm saying? So I recognize that he's using it as an avenue of making money. And you, you can't really doubt him for that because he was slapped on the Oscars. At least get something from it. You know what I'm saying? So big up to him for doing that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it gets worse. And his wife was fucking her son's friend. Okay. Yes, wild. You see, you see what Jada done to Will Smith. It was the ultimate sign of disrespect, and it's the ultimate sign of never to take a woman back. You know, there's times when you take a woman back, but a woman brings you on a show to tell you that a young boy made her feel good, that a young boy was digging her guts, a young boy that was her son's friend that was very vulnerable at the time, actually, and that she was smoking him in your house under your nose. There's a time and place for everything. Now. There's been a lot of rumours that Will Smith is um, a backdoor king. Now, I'm not sure if it's true or not. I pray it's not because Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was my childhood favourite. And just to know that my man's on that kind of time it would just like ruin all my memories. Not to say there's anything wrong with what he's doing, if that's who he is. Stop the cat. But anyway, it, it wouldn't be like a big thing to me person per se, but obviously if I was him, I would just be honest about who I really am because maybe that was the reason. Because my wife couldn't bring me to a table and tell me that she slept with one of my child like my son's friends. Like I, I would feel I would feel literally sick in my mind. And I couldn't take her back and she wouldn't be my wife anymore. You could call her whatever you like, you could cuss her hair. I could not give a damn. That woman means nothing to me. Same way, like I meant nothing to her. I just wanted to feel good. Like I swear down, I don't. I don't believe in violence. I don't condone in violence. But there's a time and place for everything. That's all I'm gonna say. Like right there, that is a mad thing. That is a mad thing. Like you can't bring me on a show to embarrass me. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a, I'm a movie star, bro. I played superheroes. I played. I am legend. I played Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I played Men in Black, Bad Boys. For my wife to come on a show and say, it was just an entanglement. Yeah, 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 she's done. So, yeah, I get why that looked kind of mad. Okay? Now, I normally would not talk about this shit. But for some reason, these niggas put that shit on the internet. I have no idea why two talented people would do something that fucking low down. What the fuck? We all been cheated on. Everybody in here been cheated on. None of us have ever been interviewed by the person that cheated on us on television. None of us. Facts. It's like, hey, I was sucking somebody else's dick. How did that make you feel? <laughs> Why the fuck would you do that shit? She hurt him way more than... All right, now that's where the cap comes in. He's saying that she hurt him more than um, he hurt him. But truth be told, Will Smith, the night that he slapped Chris Rock, he took away his manhood. 
and he still hasn't regained it because he hasn't retaliated. Now, when I was watching this, Chris Rock actually said, the reason why I never retaliated because my mom said, my parents told me that you shouldn't fight in front of white people. Crap. That is the absolute rubbish I've ever heard in my life. My mom taught me this and my dad taught me this as well. If someone puts their hands on you, you put their hands back on them. Male, female, dog, cat, don't let nobody put their hands upon you. Yeah? Stand up for yourself at all times. So... You didn't fight because you never initiated the fight, but somebody's coming to you to fight, then you have to defend yourself. No matter where I am or who I'm in front of, I have to defend myself as a man. Because how can I look in the mirror every single day? So Chris Rock is hurt. So whether he wants to say he's hurt or not, he slapped him at the Oscars, bro. I, th I think the last Oscars, just like a week or two ago, they was making a joke about it. Bro, you're the laughing stock of the world. You was a meme for like a whole year. You was just a meme. Whenever man talked about slapping, man, man brought up your name. Like, not to be rude, but I wouldn't like to be remembered like that still. And that's how you're kind of remembered, if I'm being honest with you. So, yeah, it's a little bit peak for you still, Chris. Uh, if I'm being honest, it's a little bit peak still. Now, he's going to get personal and keep saying the B-I-T-C-H word over and over and over again to try and reiterate that that's what thing he is. But what if he's such a B-I-T-C-H, why did you let him box you in your face? <laughs> It's the irony. Like, yeah, he's a BITC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, my man slapped you. So what does that mean to you, bro? So yeah, man, like, I don't want to watch no more of this, but obviously Will Smith done what he done and then he apologised. If I was Will Smith, I'd have never apologised. That's the truth. I'd have said what I said. I'd done what I'd done. What? And a gangster thing. They banned him from the Oscars for 10 years, blah, blah, blah. He still won an Oscar on that night, I think. It's mad. They was giving him his flowers after he slapped my man. It's crazy. I told you, all of these Hollywood people, they have no morals. They have no moral compass. All of them are scumbags. The whole Hollywood, the whole the whole system is all corrupted. You know what I'm saying? But it is where it is. Anyway, if you like this episode, then don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out all the rest of Rare Reactions because we've got so much, so much, and so much more. And if you don't know where we're at, we're in Rare Hub Studios. Bow!